between different members of the editorial board, and this interview is part of our process for determining our endorsement. You're voting for the representative of your own district. I'm a good representative for our district because I invest the time to make sure that I am talking to my constituents one-on-one -on -one all year round. So I started door knocking in 2009 as part of the petitions and I haven't stopped since. And I also like to point out the fact that the Springfield portion of the job is only a portion of the job and the majority of my time is actually spent in district serving my constituents. My office gives very strong constituent services and, and I'd say more so than necessarily other representatives, again, because I have such a strong community presence, more people understand who I am and they're more likely to come forward and ask for help. And I think that's a really strong component of the job that we tend to overlook. Look at the work that I'm doing, and, and I would say that the problems facing the state of Illinois are bigger than Speaker Madigan. And to only focus on Speaker, Speaker Madigan negates the fact that there's an entire Senate that has to be negotiated with. I think the problems that we struggle with are problems similar to what every other state struggles with. And if you take Speaker Madigan out of the equation, we're still left with nearly $8 billion worth of debt, $100 billion worth of pension debt, and only so many roads forward to help navigate that situation. Um, when I go out and I walk door to door and I talk to the families in my community, um, they're looking for um, someone who's going to represent them in Springfield. So I think a big part of the job is representing the families in Springfield and um, talking with them and saying one thing and actually doing that job in Springfield and voting that way and not blindly following leadership. And so um, I think the biggest vote um, is the first vote you take at the beginning of each cycle. And I know that that vote um, that my opponent has taken has always been for Speaker Madigan. Um, I, there's no reason to believe that he won't run again. And I can say that I will not be voting for him. I think that he has um, been in power for a very long time, decades, and um, many of his policies um, and the support he's had from lots of his legislators for these policies have kind of brought us to a breaking point. Um, and so my families and my community are looking for change. They want to see effective leadership in Springfield. They want to see someone who's going to respond to them when their taxes continue to go up and they don't see the value being delivered um, on, their, on their services. Um, and so that's where I'm going to have my um, focus um, when I get to Springfield.